many ways, the symmetry of, of what we love and butterflies and all this sort of thing is, is uh, just a doorway into understanding something that's much more complicated, and that is the ways in which symmetry informs the research into particle physics and how we are at a very exciting time in terms of where symmetry and particle physics are at this particular point. Um, David Gross, we've got strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetic force, and gravitational force right now, right? Is that a symmetric system, or is there an asymmetry there that forces us to look for something else or other things? Well, the fact that you had four names is obviously asymmetric. And we, um, it's like four pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. If I give you four pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, or 40, and you put them together, you know, most likely I didn't give you all the pieces and there were a few holes. These pieces actually fit together, and that was evident 30 years ago from the beginning. Three of the four. Three of the four fit together beautifully into a sort of a obvious jigsaw puzzle. And people then extrapolated that and discovered that it you know, if you really could look very deeply inside matter, you the, even gravity fits into the picture naturally. That's what has spurred a, an attempt for 30 years and more to try to unify all the forces. Unification is, is a, a standard goal of physics. It's been very successful. Newton unified apples and planets. They have the same motion, same cause for their motion. Although no one was asking him to unify apples and planets. It's a They're... strategy. Yeah. We've learned that it works. You know, nice. uh, you know you, if you understand gravity, it acts on apples and planets. Right. Maxwell unified electricity and magnetism. Particle physics so far has unified quite a bit of the forces, but a unified force is simpler, more symmetric, more explanatory. So that's been a goal. What about We're the fifth force that it. was announced uh, in the last the couple Higgs of weeks? The Higgs is kind of like a fifth force. The Higgs particle and its dynamics. That too would fit in the same picture. So there, there's overwhelming theoretical evidence or clues from nature and our understanding that unification should occur. But how it occurs, you know, we still don't know. So th this is, this is the, the, the really the, the complete, uh, c you know, wanting the beauty and wanting the simplicity. It, it may be that it's not like that. It may, this is a guiding principle from what we have seen, but it may be that this puzzle with gravity is not going to come together with the other three forces in our grand unified uh, dream, let's say. So I think we, we need to keep things in perspective, and because gravity connects with the cosmological constant and the dark matter problem, we kind of need to hold tight on how this picture evolves uh, with, with, uh, with all the forces and with the grand unified theory.